Hello and welcome to another edition of Pay Dirt TV. I'm Michael Washbourne and today I'm joined by Managing Director of Musgrave Minerals, Rob Waugh, uh, to talk about the company's recent run of success uh, at the Q Gold Project. Welcome, Rob. Thank you, Michael. It's always a pleasure to be here and great to be here on Pay Dirt today. Uh, Rob, uh, tell us about uh, this recent uh, exploration hit that you've had uh, at the Starlight Link Load, which uh, may well be the best hit you've had in the company's history. Uh, look, it is definitely the highest grade hit we've had at, at, at Q, so 12 metres at 112 grams, so very close to surface as well, so uh, you know, really positive for the company. So it's been a fantastic um, a period for us. We've been able to grow the resource base and we're continuing to do so going forward. So look, we're looking forward to uh, further work that we've got ongoing. And it's really good that um, that we've got some fantastic results, you know, and it was well received in the market. So we're we're very pleased. Yeah, it's it's been something you've been building towards for quite a little while. Uh, so sort of, what's the feeling when you get a reaction like you did? I think the company share price went up seventy three percent on the day of the announcement. Look, uh, as you know, Michael, with the highs and lows of expiration. So um, look, it, it is it is it is fantastically uh, rewarding to get re you know re that respect in the market and. It definitely was our largest trading day in our, in our shorter history. So um, yeah, we're very pleased and, and looking forward to further results as the drilling progresses. And, and the next steps for the uh, exploration, uh, you're in the middle of a drilling program as it stands. Uh, uh, how much work is still to go before you can potentially go towards uh, maybe a resource upgrade later in the year? Yeah, look, uh, good question. So we've, um, we've got assays back for 12 RC holes. We're doing RC drilling at the new Starlight Discovery down to a depth of about 200 metres. So there's probably another 20 odd holes um, we're expecting assays back for from, from that drilling. We're still drilling there at the moment. We'll be continuing to be drilling there for another two to three weeks on the, in the RC. So we're doing pre-collars as well. Um, and we've got a diamond rig arriving um, in a week. Um, we're looking forward to that. And that'll test below that 200 metre level. So from roughly 200 metres down to about 350. So I'm looking forward to that. So. So with those, um, there's those holes in, in place and, and ongoing, we expect results over the next somewhere between, you know, coming in another two weeks time and all the way through for another eight weeks or thereabouts. And that will lead into a resource upgrade for a break of day, including Starlight in Q, late Q3, 2020. Uh, a lot of keen followers of Musgrove uh, might also be aware that you're a uh, shareholder in Legend Mining, uh, which also recently had a major discovery uh, at their own project in the Fraser Range. Uh, given that it has been a, a bit of spate of uh, exploration success in the junior industry of late, uh, does uh, your discovery ha have a bit more uh, excitement uh, for, from a market point of view? Look, I, I, definitely. I think um, the expectation within the market grows. So when people um, effectively are successful and make discoveries, um, yeah, there's more noise in the market, people are more interested um, and they're looking for the next one. So people, obviously, when they do make money, are looking forward to making more money and then they continue continuous process so it is really exciting in time in the market there's been a number of good discoveries in discoveries in the industry um, and obviously it's, it's beneficial for us being a, a shareholder in legend so we're, we're very um, very grateful to Mark Wilson and the work that, that his team has done and which we're, we're, we think is fantastic so keep up the good work Mark. With all these uh, different exploration successes about the place uh, it just goes to show that the market does reward uh, a really good proper genuine greenfields discovery. Yeah, no, it is nice to see that. And you don't always get that in the um, cyclical nature of, of the resources space, but it's really nice to see that at the moment, that there is reward for effort. And, um, and that's why we do it. You know, we do it to make the discoveries. Um, that's what excites us as exploration geologists, and it is nice to get the reward at the end of it. Uh, one of your uh, major shareholders, uh, West Gold Resources, uh, recently raised $45 million to do some expanded work around their central Murchison uh, gold operations, uh, given that you're uh, an emerging player in the Murchison district, does that have any impact on Musgrave Minerals? Oh look, it, it's always beneficial for us where, when companies around us are doing well. Um, we hope West Gold does very well. Um, I really can't speculate, I don't really don't know on what West Gold's intent is with the $45 million, but we do um, hope that they do very well. And Rob, just to finish off, uh, a word to Musgrave shareholders about what to look forward to in the back half of 2020. Yeah, look, a really exciting time. Um, we're well cashed up. Um, we've got exploration programs ongoing, both on the Evolution Joint Venture side, but also on 100% ground, and, and in particular Starlight. So really good news flow we're expecting from Starlight over the next couple of months, and, and looking forward to getting more assay results out to the market. So in an exciting time in gold, especially in Australia. So you know, it should be an exciting time going forward, and looking forward to uh, updating shareholders as we progress. Rob, thanks for joining us, and we look forward to following the progress at Starlight uh, for the rest of this year and, uh, and beyond. 
Thanks, Michael. Always great to be here and have a chat.